The ACX 1120H for refrigerant R134A by Molly Service Solutions is affordable and innovative AC servicing equipment that is performance-packed with value. Loaded with additional cost-saving features and the same superior system performance of the best-selling Arctic Pro series, the ACX 1120H keeps your shop's bottom line in mind. Now that you've purchased your ACX 1120H, let's go over a few key pieces of information that you'll need to know before operating your machine. Be sure to read all important safety instructions and regulations located in the instruction manual before operating your ACX 1120H. If your machine is missing the operator's manual, please go to servicesolutions.molly.com and download a manual. Always observe all warning notices on the unit and wear both protective goggles and protective gloves when performing AC service. The ACX 1120H is suitable for vehicles with a conventional engine as well as for hybrid and electric vehicles. The following functions will be reviewed. Refrigerant recovery and recharging, vacuum generation, and flushing. Please note that the ACX 1120H can only be operated with R134A refrigerant. Let's review some important information regarding the initial use of the ACX 1120H. The user interface is where all settings, controls, and service functions are available. Data entry and the moving of the cursor is controlled by the keypad. The LCD displays the service equipment status, the progress of the AC system service, and any alarms or error messages. Main menu options include automatic cycles, manual cycles, setup, maintenance, and service. A key feature is the EcoLock quick couplers that enable the reduction of non-condensable gases formed inside the cylinder. They avoid the loss of refrigerant into the air during disconnections. To connect the coupling, Position the coupling on the parking coupler and pull back the knurled section of the coupling element and press carefully onto the connections. Refer to the owner's manual in section 5 and 6 prior to the first use. Once the unit is unpacked, remove the load cell retention bolt located on the underside rear of the unit. The next steps in commissioning the unit are also required prior to the first use. Set the internal cylinder fill to desired quantity with a minimum of 3 kilograms. Then follow the on-screen instructions, making sure the hoses are disconnected from any external source. Start the procedure that initially creates vacuum in the internal refrigerant circuit. This procedure takes approximately 15 minutes. Once the finished message is displayed, the unit can be connected to the external cylinder and the valves opened. Just before the targeted refrigerant amount is reached, the unit will pause and prompt the user to close external refrigerant tank connection. Once this is done, the unit will continue to recover the refrigerant from the hoses and end once this is completed. Setup of your unit is important for identifying key parameters and preferences. Press the arrow keys to access the Setup menu. Highlight the Setup option and press Select. Here is where you can enable EcoLock couplers, set recharge modes, enable pressure checks, indicate options for saving reports and language preferences, and selecting the unit of measure. Refer to your owner's manual for a full list of options and instructions in the setup menu. Before you begin an actual service, make sure the locking caster brakes are locked, then plug the ACX 1120H into a power supply and flip the rocker switch to the on position. You can choose to complete your cycle by accessing the main menu and selecting automatic cycle or manual cycle. To begin the service, select whether you would like to load the parameters used during the last AC service, or select My Database to load customer parameters previously saved. After the selection is made, a screen will appear showing the data for the process. After the parameters are adjusted, press the down arrow key to select and confirm Start to begin the automatic cycle. 
A screen will then appear to adjust the vehicle's compressor type. Use the left or right arrow key to change between electric and mechanical compressor types. Press Enter to continue. A special flushing procedure will be executed to clear any potential oil residue and hoses from previous services. After the connection is made, confirm Yes by pressing Enter to proceed and follow the instructions displayed on the screen. For a manual process, press the up or down arrow keys to select Recovery and press Enter. Follow the on-screen instructions to begin the recovery process. Use the up or down arrow keys to select Vacuum and press Enter. The unit will display a screen for the prompt to enter the length of the vacuum time. Press the down arrow key to display vacuum test time. Then connect HP-LP couplers to the vehicle AC system. Open the couplers and select Start. To recharge, use the up and down arrow keys to select Recharge and press Enter. Then adjust the value on the screen to match what the vehicle's AC system requires by pressing the left or right arrow keys. Then set whether the service is to be performed on the HP or LP side. Connect the couplers to the vehicle fittings and follow the on-screen instructions. For flushing, install the flushing kit as described in the instructions included with the flush kit. Then follow the on-screen instructions. Using the ACX1120H, you can check pressure inside the vehicle's AC system. Just connect the HP and LP couplers to the AC system in the vehicle, then follow the on-screen instructions. Start the vehicle and turn on the AC system, setting the temperature to the coldest setting. Set the fan speed at max level and close all the vents except the central one, and then set air distribution to that vent. Keep the engine at high idle speed, approximately 2000 RPM, for at least 2 minutes, then check pressure valves in 3 to 5 minutes. Once this is complete, select Pressure Check Function. At the end of the test, check that both values on the HP and LP gauges fall between the values shown on the display. In the manual cycle, to clear pressure from the inside of the unit hoses, use the up or down arrow keys to select Hose Emptying and press Enter. Then allow the procedure to run to completion. For maintenance of your ACX1120H, complete instructions are available in your owner's manual. This information includes filling the internal refrigerant cylinder, leak self-test, cylinder pressure checks, vacuum pump oil changes, and more. There is also a troubleshooting guide located in the back of the manual. Should you require additional help, please call our tech support line at 800-468-2321. This concludes the instructional video for the ACX1120H. The Arctic Pro ACX1120H from Molly Service Solutions is the solution for high-quality AC servicing equipment at an economical price. For additional information on other shop tools and equipment, visit servicesolutions.molly.com.